Hi everyone, Richard here at Calvin Wazoo, and today's episode is the vinyl store is open. Yes, so one of my favorite vinyl stores here in Chicago has reopened for walk-in business. They've been selling uh, records from their website, and then you go pick them up. Uh, and I bought a few uh, during this whole shelter-in-place. Uh, situation that we've been in, but now they're open for business and, you know, got to wear a mask and they only let 25 people in at a time. Uh, it's a pretty big store, so uh, it works out really well. And oh, of course, I went and had to buy a bunch of records, uh, but I got some pretty decent deals, I think, that I just want to quickly share with you. You know, for a long time, I've been looking well, not necessarily looking, but thinking about, you know, getting a, a Woody Guthrie album. I've got several Arlo Guthrie albums, um, and of course I know Bob Dylan's a huge, huge fan. I'm very much influenced by Woody Guthrie, and so are a lot of other singer-songwriters for that matter. So I decided to pick this one up uh, from uh, the original recordings label. Looks like it should be pretty good, so... I'm uh, amped about that. And then I also got uh, this White Stripes. The um, thing is, though, you know, White Stripes has been on my list. A couple of their albums are. Um, but it wasn't this one. Uh, so I'm hoping it's going to be uh, pretty good because I do not have any White Stripes. I haven't really listened to them before. So this is going to be... Um, uh, uh, a definite dive, free fall dive, and, and see what the, the music is like. Um, and maybe it'll be a pretty strong album, which means the ones that I do want um, will be even stronger, huh? And then, you know, for years, I used to have a copy of this, um, but I haven't anymore, and I finally got another copy, you know, T for the Tillerman, Cat Stevens. Um, and he's going to be releasing that 50-year anniversary release. It's going to have some new arrangements with uh, many of these songs, uh, you know, such as Wild World and Where Do the Children Play. So um, I loved this album when I had it back in high school, and I'm looking forward to the 50th anniversary one. So, of course, I had to had to get look for this and... And see that there was one there. Um, got some classical ones too. I've been really into piano sonatas and um, and concertos. And uh, so I saw this one here, Mozart Piano Concertos, number 19 and 20. Um, and number 20 is like one of my favorite piano concertos of Mozart. Uh, so uh, plus Rudolf Serkin, you know, can't go wrong with that. So I thought, hey, this will be nice. And the nice thing about classical music, well, I should say orchestral music, uh, because classical is a period. And Mozart, I'm not sure, is from the classical period. He might be from the Romance period. Anyway, uh, the thing about orchestral music is that you can get records in near mint condition for really, really cheap. A lot of them are going to be less than $10, and there's going to be a lot of them less than $5, and they're going to be in near mint condition. Uh, another one I picked up, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Chopin, so um, I got this one here of uh, Piano Concerto Number 2, uh, which I became familiar with because of a Japanese anime series um, called The uh, Forest Piano, um, which I really enjoyed. And Chopin is kind of the center uh, uh, composer, you know, in, in the series. Um, and they talk about concerto number two and concerto number one. So I just need to find concerto number one. So, uh, however, I noticed that this is a digital recording, all right? And it's on an LP. So um, we'll see how it sounds. I know that 
Deutsche Grammophone, I have a lot of their CDs, um, and they're really, really fine recordings, and I know their analog recordings are really, really fine um, for the uh, LPs. So this will be interesting to listen to a vinyl pressing from a uh, digital master. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then um, Frank Zappa's orchestral favorites. I got this now, and uh, it was great to have it added in my collection because now the trio of records, um, Sleep Dirt and, um, oh, it's escaping me right now. Um, but now uh, this one here, Orchestral Favorites, they all three had these wacky covers. Um, and the cool thing of, is that this is a, an OG, so it's on the um, discrete label. Let's see. And, and this original sleeve, the cool thing is it's got the little triangular uh, order form for, you know, $2. You can send in the Warner Brothers and they give you this like sampler. They were called Lost Leaders. Um, I'm surprised they were still doing that at the time um, of this release. Well, well 1979. So, yeah, um, that's not too off because I remember getting uh, sending in for a couple of those in like 1970s, mid, uh, early to mid 1970s. And then these next two finds, I was really surprised. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched uh, the video channel, Deep Cuts with a fellow named Oliver. And he has some really interesting videos and some of them are centered around different genres of music. And he picks like the five albums that you should check out in that particular genre. And I was watching one um, on math rock because uh, that's a new term that um, I had been hearing and becoming somewhat familiar with. And it was associated with the band Slint. And I had done a video on Slint. Um, I'll put the uh, link to that video down in the down under for you. Um, and I also have a link to that episode of Deep Cuts with the, um, as I said, the fellow's name is Oliver, that's about math rock. So you can watch it and see, uh, you know, what was going on. And uh, one of the bands that he mentioned was Palvo and this particular release, uh, the uh, Today's Active Lifestyles. And it's as apparently it's a special release on some pretty, you know, some pretty vinyl, uh, some, this was brand new. I already slid open the, the sleeve, but you know, check it out. Just uh, some very, very cool vinyl. Um, I'm going to wash it for sure. I do that with all my new albums, but whoever at the factory, you know, was putting this inside the record sleeve, I can see their freaking handprint on the vinyl. I can see fingers, you know, where they grabbed it. They grabbed it like this. Who are these people? Um, but like I say, I do give them a uh, big wet wash. I do that with all my records, whether they are brand new and sealed or if they are used. So anyway, I've listened to this on... YouTube and it's really really good stuff. The other one that I was surprised is uh, this and it's a um, um, Can't remember if it's a double album or uh, Where is it? Yeah, it's a double album um, I think what it said on the, on the stick anyway um, here it is. It is, uh, yeah, Don Caballero, What Burns Never Returns. Uh, I have not unsealed this one yet. Uh, but, yeah, I was very surprised to see that. This was another one that Oliver at Deep Cuts had recommended. So those are the records I picked up today. Uh, yay, the record store is open. It's, uh, it's exciting. 
uh, as things start to, you know, gradually, I'm moving really slow. I'm not being crazy about this. I go out with my mask on all the time. Um, but anyway, I'm looking forward to getting these cleaned up and then giving them a spin and listen to them. As I said, I'll have some links in the down under. Please leave a comment, uh, share some new finds that you have ha uh, have made recently and uh, share my video, please. Uh, I really do like seeing comments. So uh, if you got something to say about any of these albums um, or as I say, anything that you may have found recently, you know, leave a comment uh, in the down under there. But please remember always to enjoy your music.